Hi guys and welcome. We are doing some beginner exercises today. This particular workout is going to be your upper body workout. You should have access to a wall. Uh, you'll also need a towel. Okay, I recommend a large towel. Uh, you'll need something resembling some hand weights and they should be relatively light for the exercise that we're doing today. If you don't have traditional dumbbells, you could grab something like soup cans. That should work for what we'll be doing. Uh, we're doing four different exercises. What I'm gonna do is guide you through all four to start with. We'll do one run through of everything and I'll give you really good instructions on them. And then once we've done all four, I'm gonna go back and we'll take two exercises at a time and we'll do them each again for two more rounds, okay? Uh, I do recommend that you do two to three uh, sets total of all of the exercises. So if on that second time around you feel like you've done enough and you want to take a rest during uh, what would be the third set of each exercise, please go ahead and rest. Um, that said, take rest when you need to. You can always pause me um, and get water when you need to, okay? Before we get going, I'm gonna show you the list of exercises. And I will show this again um, before going into our second round in case you would like to approach them on your own instead of with me, you'll be able to do that. All right, gather what you need and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna get you a little warmed up, stretch you out a bit before we dive into these exercises. You should always at least stretch before you start any kind of a strength workout. You don't wanna go in with stiff and tight muscles. So sitting or standing, let's just take the shoulders, bring them up towards your ears, and then bring them back down. Let's inhale, lift the shoulders up, Exhale, take them down. Do that one more time, deep breath in. Exhale, think about reaching your palms down towards the floor. And all we're gonna do, we'll keep reaching through the hands and start tipping your head from side to side slowly. So you feel a stretch moving into one side of your neck and then you, as you switch, it goes to the other side. And do that again. Take one more time on each side. All right, all we're gonna do here, make sure you have some space out to the side and in front of you. We're gonna take the hands right in front of the chest, palms together. Now inhale, open up the arms wide. Exhale, reach them back forward, so I'm really reaching out. Inhale to open out. Exhale, reach forward. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to open. Exhale, reach. And one more time, inhale, open. Exhale, reach, bring your fingers together. We're holding here this time. And I want you again, really reach out. Now press your chin onto your chest and feel that separating between your shoulder blades, lengthening along the back of your neck. Carefully release, just let the arm shake out front to back, front to back. We're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So the first exercise we're doing is our push-ups. I'm gonna show these to you at the wall and then also kneeling, okay? At the wall, hands elevated is a nice place to start working on these push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna line up, um, take my body back so I do have some weight that is coming forward into this wall. If I'm right up here, I don't have a lot of weight to take forward. It's all gonna be over my feet. Back here, I've got some weight that I can send forward now. So you can work with all that space in between. So keep that in mind. The other thing I will have you do is come up onto your toes. Again, that'll shift some weight away from your feet and send it forward, okay? So my hands are in line with my shoulders, height-wise. 
I'm gonna take them a tiny bit wider than my shoulders width wise, okay? My elbows will bend down and back. They're not gonna come out to the side like chicken wings. And I'm just gonna carefully lower towards the wall and then press back, okay? So it's lower down and back. I'm moving with control, keeping my belly engaged so my hips aren't sagging, my tush isn't sticking out. Um, and that's about all there is to it. We're gonna move at a nice controlled pace. We're taking 10 right here. Okay, let's get ready. And inhale to lower down. Exhale to press back for one. Bring it down and press two. Down, three. Down, four. Go ahead and keep going. I'm gonna talk a little bit. So one thing, that I want to mention is that I'm not locking out my elbows when I press back to straight arms. Let's take three more here, guys. Get three, two, last one, okay? So like I said, I'm not completely locking out those elbows. I'll keep them a little soft even when I've pressed back out as far as I'm gonna go. Our second exercise I'm gonna pull up my chair, literally, and bring it to a wall, okay? This is a core exercise. It's pretty challenging. Um, I was trying this out a few days ago and I thought, ooh, that's gonna be a workout. Um, the beauty is we've got a few ways to make it more challenging and less challenging, okay? So find the version that works best for you. I'm gonna show you the full, full deal first. Okay, so I'm at my wall, I've set my chair, so with my arms extended out like I would be in my push-up, I can just reach the wall with my fingertips. And I'm scooched towards the edge of my chair. Um, I'm about, I would say, about on the, the last third of it. So my glutes are supported, but majority of my legs are off the front of the chair. So I'm gonna bring my feet um, together and my knees together. What I'm gonna do, bracing on the wall, I'm gonna lift my feet away from the floor, pause, and then I'm gonna set back down, okay? So that is fairly challenging. One thing that I'm trying also to do is keep my spine as long as possible. I'm trying to take out that rounding forward. I'm also trying not to lean backwards. I'm just trying to stay tall and get those feet off the floor. Um, we're holding these. We're doing five and we're holding them for about two to three seconds of pause each time. If you get going and these are too much, what I want you to do is instead of lifting both legs together, I want you to lift one knee at a time. You'll just pause there, set it down, and then you'll go to the other side. You're still gonna get some great work there, but it'll scale back um, a little bit while you're just getting started here, okay? Let's get ready with that chair towards the edge of your chair, knees are together, hands can reach the wall, fingers reach the wall, and let's lift the knees up, exhale here, three, two, one, inhale, tap down, come right back up, hold three, two, one, bring it down, and up, three, two, one, two more, tap down, lift it up, exhale here, three, two, one, inhale, tap down, Exhale, lift and hold three, two, one, and release. Okay, so those are our first two exercises. We're gonna keep going so I can show you the next two and then we'll backtrack, okay? So the next thing we're doing, and you can do this seated or you can do it standing. Um, you'll need your cans or your dumbbells for this one. This is your lateral raise, okay? Whether you're seated or standing, either place, you're just staying tall, okay? In my chair, I'm not leaning back. I'm, again, towards the front of my seat and I'm just really focused on tall posture. Same thing standing. If you're standing, you're not leaning back, you're not leaning forwards, okay? So we've got our weights and they're just starting down, resting at your sides, okay? Got a tiny bit of my elbows, again, not locking them out. 
And all we're gonna do for this one is raise weights out to the side. They're coming as high as the shoulders. And then we lower back down with control. So it's a very controlled lift out, controlled return back to that start position. Don't get to swinging. We're gonna move through some nice controlled slow breaths for this exercise. Grab your weights and let's get going. Here we go, take in a breath, let it out. We're gonna go, here we go, breathe in and lift to exhale, inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift out, inhale, lower down for two. Bring it up, three, down with control. Bring it up, four, and down we're going uh, eight to ten of these and lower down let's bring it out lower down we'll take four more exhale inhale lower with control exhale breathe in last two lift and last one bring it up and lower down. Okay, so we've got one more exercise and that is our lateral pull with the towel. Okay, um, even if you don't have a towel handy, stay with me because a lot of this exercise is truly found through your conscious intentional engagement of the muscles that we're targeting. Okay, so what I'm really targeting here with this lat pull um, are your upper back muscles. Okay, so I want you thinking about these muscles right through here and also the muscles between your shoulder blades. If you just reach up with your hands right now, now pull down and think about engaging that area. I want you to try that. See if you can find it and now release, okay? Just like we did with that um, knee raise, this is an exercise that we're gonna be holding for a couple of seconds. So about three seconds each time, and we'll only do five repetitions in a set. Okay, I like adding the towel because that makes it, so while you're getting that upper back engagement, you can also pull out on the towel a little bit and get a tricep exercise at the same time. So we're getting all of those back muscles and also getting into the arms. So it's really like a two or three for one, okay? So the way that I would hold the towel, I would get it kind of rolled up here and I'm gonna take that towel and grip it. So when it's out and extended straight, it's a little wider than my shoulders. Okay, so if I'm looking at my arms right now, they're kind of making like a V shape, okay? So grab your towel and get set up there. Nice way to check that is if you've got a mirror, you can look to see if when you pull down, do your elbows and your hands create this nice rectangle shape, okay? So right now with my elbows bent at 90 degrees, my hands are right above my elbows, okay? So that's a nice check. So we're gonna get started, grab your towel, get your, your width set, and bring it up, okay? We're gonna pull down, bring it right, just to touch the top of your head, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull out on that towel, and now bring it back up, okay? Bring it down, engage your back, pull out on the towel, and bring it up, we're gonna do three more. Pull down, squeeze the back together, pull that towel out, release. Two more times right here. So we're exhaling here where we're engaged, okay? Then we inhale during that release. Last one here, exhale, and inhale, release it. Guys, those are all four exercises. So that was kind of a very slow trip through because I wanted to tell you a lot about them. We're gonna go back to our first two exercises, starting with that push-up at the wall. I'm also gonna demonstrate it this time kneeling, okay? So if you felt good and happy at the wall, 
I just want you to stay right there. If you feel like it wasn't enough challenge for you, a few things you can do, okay? One would be to take your hands to something lower like a countertop, okay? Countertop is usually three and a half feet off the floor. It's definitely higher than or lower than where you're placing your hands on the wall, so it's going to increase your challenge, okay? But it won't be quite as challenging as coming down here to do some kneeling push-ups. So if you're going to the wall, go ahead and set up there. If you're gonna kneel with me, let's get set up down on the floor, um, kneeling on a towel, and I'm gonna come into a kneeling plank position. So I'm not way up here in a tabletop, my butt's not in the air. I'm gonna come down and find that engaged core position while I'm kneeling. Okay guys, let's get ready. We're gonna take a breath in here and lower down, exhale to press back up. Inhale, lower down, exhale, press. With control, bend to the elbows. With control, press back. Bring it down, press for four. Down, five, neutralize your neck, no strain there. There's six down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, and here's 10. If you wanna do a couple more, feel free. You've got a little bit of time. I'm gonna give a reminder on that knee raise ab exercise. You've got your chair again close to that wall, okay? And we're gonna take a seat. You're sitting near the edge of their ch your chair and you're just able to reach that wall here. It'll be both or one foot at a time, one knee at a time, lifting away from the floor. We engage the core to hold it and then we tap back down and come right back up. Let's get those hands up. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift, hold three, two, one, lower down, inhale, bring it right back up. Three, two, one, down and up. Hold three, two, one, down, up. Three, two, one, last time. Bring it up, hold three, two, one. All right, let's go back to our last set of push-ups. We'll take one more visit right here, and then we move on to our other two exercises. I'm gonna do push-ups at the wall with you guys this time. Take it wherever you're the happiest. Okay, so we're ready. Hands are in line with the shoulders. And let's carefully lower down. Press it back, one. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, here is 10. Take it to 12 if you're feeling like it, okay? Let's get up for, set up for that last chair knee raise exercise for your core right here okay we're gonna start by taking a deep breath in bring it in exhale lift the knees and hold three two one lower down lift right back up hold three two one inhale tap down exhale lift hold three two one down and up three two one last one here three, two, one, and release. All right, guys, sitting or standing, we're gonna do our side raises and that towel lap pull. I'm gonna talk a little bit about standing this time. Feel free, again, to do either, okay? When you're standing, you should have a little bend in your knees, and that is to allow you to sit your butt back just a little bit so you don't wind up here. If you lock your legs out, you're gonna wind up here. 
and that's not going to be good on your lower back. So we keep those knees a little soft and move into our standing exercise. Okay. So weights are at the side. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, lift to shoulder height. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, bring it out. Down with control. Up and down. There's three. Up. Four. Get that half second pause at the top. There's five. Up. Seven, up, eight, up, nine, one last time, and ten. Okay, and now we're grabbing our towel. Again, you can sit or stand. I'm going to sit down with you guys for this one. Okay, and you're nice and tall. Let's grab that towel, start at shoulder width then take your hands a little bit wider okay get that check up here you've got that rectangle let's reach up okay deep breath in exhale bring it down squeeze your shoulder blades together pull out on that towel and now release reach it back up exhale pull down three two one inhale reach up relax exhale pull down squeeze your upper back Press out, release, inhale, reach up, two more, pull down, engage, three, two, one, inhale, reach, exhale, engage, three, two, one, and release. Guys, we're going to do each of those one more time, and you're done. So we've got our weights or our cans, we're sitting nice and tall, weights start at the side, breathe in. Exhale, raise your weights, shoulder height, and lower down one. Reach out and down two. Reach out and down three. Reach out and down four. Reach out and down five. Up and six. Up. Seven, up, eight, up, nine, last one, and there is ten. All right, grab your towel, last time here, okay? Start at shoulder width and take it a little bit wider, get a good grip on it, bring it up. Inhale. Exhale, pull it down and hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down, engage your upper back. Pull out on the towel. Inhale, relax, reach up. Exhale, pull down and hold. Three, two, one. Inhale, release up. Last two. Exhale, pull, squeeze, engage. And release up. Pull it down last time, squeeze it. Three, two, one, and release. All right, let's set that towel down. I want you to take some circles through your shoulders, just roll them back. And reverse directions, roll them forward. Just like we did at the beginning today, let's take both hands forward, fingers come together, reach out and tuck your chin onto your chest, press it right down. Release your hands, look forward. Let's just bend the elbows, pull back, reach forward, pull back, reach forward last time pull back hold it here and send those hands out wide draw them back open up your chest take a deep breath in and let it out let's release the arms down just give them a little shake out guys that is it all right so that's your beginner 
upper body workout. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I can always scale these up, scale them down, or swap them out for something else. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.